Hey, it's Shannon, and I'm here for a little quick tip for you about mane care and tail care with your horses. Hey, real quick, just a few golden rules when it comes to caring for your horse's mane and tail at home and at the show. At home, I don't always brush my horse's mane. I don't brush it every single day. I feel like every time, no matter how much product I have in my horse's mane or tail, I have uh, the possibility of pulling mane or tail out every time I brush it. So this horse, you can tell, she needs a little bit of work. Actually looks a little bit dirty, probably needs a little wash and condition, but I didn't brush it yesterday, so today I am. So golden rule number one, don't brush your horse's mane or tail every single day. Number two, never brush your horse's mane or tail without some product. Now there are a lot of great products on the market, Santa Cruz has a great detangler. Cowboy Magic happens to be my favorite. This is the detangler and shine. And all I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna put about a, oh, a half dollar size um, amount of product on my hand. If I need any more, I'll just kind of hold on to my jar, rub it in your hands, and then I'll just tease it through the mane. But here's the secret to making this work. Don't brush it right away. You've got to let this product sit in there for a couple of minutes and then you'll find that it'll brush out smooth. If I were to start brushing right now, I would already be pulling pulling a product out. Okay, so I'll let that sit and I'll put it on the uh, tail and then I'm going to show you exactly how I like them to be brushed. All right, so a lot of folks wonder, is there a magic brush? Well, it doesn't matter what brush you use or comb that you use, just use one that you, <laughs> that you really like. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a, a human hairbrush or a, um, or a horse brush. The only thing that's important is don't brush your horse's hair without product in it. You know, horse's hair grows like folks, or people's hair. You know, it may only grow an inch a month. So if I don't have product in my horse's hair and I pull something out, I mean, it's going to take six or eight months for this hair to grow back. This little hair that came out right there, I mean, that's six or eight months worth of growth. But one of the reasons why I don't brush them every day and I never brush them without product. All right, so we're, we've had uh, our product in the source's hair for maybe oh, four or five minutes. I'm gonna start brushing from the bottom. I'll never start at the top. Always brush at the bottom and work your way up. See how nice that's kind of going through her hair right there? She has a little fly bothering her. So start at the bottom. If I hit resistance, I don't rake through it. Just kind of pull your brush out you can probably hear a little resistance there. Good. Start at the bottom, work your way up. Start at the bottom. If you hit resistance, pull your brush out. And then work your way up, work your way up, work your way. Imagine what I'd be doing right now if I didn't have product in her hair. And imagine what this would do if I brushed this hair every single day. Sometimes I'll braid the manes um, just so that, you know, they stay nice and conditioned and they're not able to, to rub hair out as easily. Really nice. So once a week, once a week, maybe more often if they get dirty, I will uh, shampoo, condition, and put a detangler product in their hair. Other than that, I brush them a couple times a week with product in it, and they always have great, great, great manes. This horse doesn't have a long mane, but she has a lot of thick, thick hair that's very healthy. All right, we have product in the horse's tail, but I haven't brushed it yet. But before I even brush it, I want to talk to you about tail length. See how this tail is really thick all the way down to the bottom of the tail? Ordinarily, well, first, I don't ever ride my horses without that tail being up in the, in the form of a braid or a knot. And that is because horses that stop hard, horses that fling their tail around, which she doesn't do too much of, they will break that tail off at the end. And I want a thick tail all the way down to the bottom. Um, and where I like a tail to be, hers is actually just a little long right now. I really don't want that tail longer than the middle of the fetlock. Some people like it a little bit higher than that, but I tend to want to cut them right about the middle of the fetlock. She could use a little trim. When it comes to your trim, you can cut it square across the tail or if you show a ranch versatility or ranch horse work, you might not want it to look like a performance horse cut. Well, you can just kind of feather the edges. Now, why would someone want to go to that much trouble? 
I want a pretty tail all the way down to the bottom. So it's worth maybe once a month just doing a little bit of a trim. Okay, the brushing. Stay with me here because this is going to be really important. Just like I did in the main, I have product in here, but I don't want to start here and rake my comb or brush all the way through it. I want to start at the bottom and I'm going to get this nice and clean and soft and then I'll move up a little. And if you feel like you don't, feels like you're kind of pulling hair out or it doesn't feel soft, just stop and put more product in it. This tail could probably use a little more product right now. Then I'll just work my way up. I can tell I've hit more product now because it's gotten a lot easier to brush. Do you see now why I don't brush these every single day? I just don't want any friction in that tail. Look how, oh, that feels great. Very little resistance. Now I've worked my way all the way up. Now if I had this tail in a tail bag today, I wouldn't have to spend any time or risk pulling out any hair because I wouldn't need to brush it or do anything else with it. So in another video, I'll show you how I tie my tails up and how I put them in tail bags or socks. And I feel like that's the best way to get a beautiful tail is to actually keep them up all the time and protect it. So just a few tips today for how you can keep a really, really pretty tail with your horse. Please like me and follow me at Coach Piggott so you can learn more about the tips we professionals use every single day to make our horses beautiful, to make them ride great, and to enjoy our time with them.